I'm Jordan Rondell, aka The Caker, and today I am baking a cake from one of my recipe books, and I have a special guest coming along to help me, Charlotte McKinney. Welcome in. How's, how's it been? <laughs> okay, hi. She made me a cake for my birthday, and I have been dreaming about it ever since. I told her I wanted a dairy-free, gluten-free, super clean um, cake, and she made it, and I couldn't taste the difference. And I'm really excited because this can show you guys to basically, you can indulge without the drama of feeling guilty. And... I'm gonna show everyone how easy this is, and it's gonna taste bomb. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, as you said, it's completely gluten-free, dairy-free. I mean, it's, it's vegan. There's no, yeah. yeah. And um, basically nothing. Ba it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's everything air. free cake. You can also say it's refined sugar-free because it just has a little bit of coconut sugar. Yes, in, so. and coconut sugar, I am such a fan of because it's low glycemic yeah. and doesn't spike your blood sugar. And levels. it tastes really caramelly, caramelly and it's yeah. just delicious. No, something about coconut sweetener is yeah, kind of all you need. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean the base of the cake is some really good Dutch processed cocoa powder. It really does pay to get like an alkali. Al oh my gosh, it's such a hard word to say. Alkalized. Alkal I, I can never say that. <laughs> Alkaline. Alkalinized. Alkalinized cocoa powder. And then we've got our almond flour, our ground Love almonds. It. You know, that replaces any flour, really. Amazing. And then that adds texture and nutrition. Protein. Protein. We've got just a little bit, this is like the tiniest bit of coconut flour, and that's just gonna help oh, to like bind it. Um, obviously that's gluten free. Yeah. Then we've got our 72% chocolate chips. So these are dairy free because they're, they're, it's just all cocoa solids. There's yeah. no dairy in there, so Amazing. that's awesome. And then our raisin agent. Um, which is a baking powder, and then we also have some olive oil, and I've put my vanilla extract in there Ooh, already. Ooh, I love it. And then, finally, the coconut cream. So this is what, this is our liquid. Perfect. Yeah. So this is like essentially the recipe I've, in the book, it's made into little mini cakes, and then love I've actually that. put some chili flakes in the original version. Okay. We're not gonna do that today because we're gonna use berries, and I feel like, let's just keep it like summery and, yeah. you know, and we're gonna make one whole cake rather than the little, the little individual ones. ones. I think that would just be more delicious. Okay, so first things first. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna uh, put all of our dry ingredients in here and whisk them together. Okay, and then from it. there, we're gonna add our wit. So go ahead and you know do the cocoa powder, the sugar. And go, go full on. Go full all on. This, okay. this is why I love this recipe, because we don't even need any equipment. Like it's that. just a bowl and a spatula. I'm really. all about like not measuring it are, but these are these, probably measured these, out. These are measured. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> you do the measuring, I just do the pouring. These have been measured, yes. When did you start? I started the caker in 2010. So 2010, wow. It's been a minute. And that was back in New Zealand, where I'm from. Okay. And um, it took me, I guess, five years to realize that uh, I wanted to expand internationally one day. Okay. And the initial plan was to like recreate what I have in New Zealand, which is a full-blown bakery. As well yeah, as the cake so, kits. So I so I see that. So so the bakery that's only in New Zealand. For now, yeah. For now. For and now. And would you possibly want to do one? Yeah, it's something we're working on. Um, Amazing. But I think like COVID definitely made us like relook at the company and it changed the whole structure of it. And really now the focus for the US is on like expanding the cake kit. Okay, so okay, I so have done. the cacao. I have the Almonds, flour. And then we're gonna do the coconut sugar. Amazing. All of it. Yep, all of it. The coconut uh, flour coconut and then flour. the baking powder. Amazing. Well done, you're doing so great. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so good at this. <laughs> you're, you're just like a natural baker, I can I'm tell. I'm just like such a baker, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so okay, that, cool. that was our drive. We're gonna add this in once you've kind of whisked it whisked all together, it like all incorporated okay. everything. So technically I'll be able to say I made this cake. 100%. Uh, Very yeah. exciting. Okay, so that, that is looks gorgeous. Pretty good. I love it. Okay. Okay, so now. Now I'm gonna get you to switch utensils. So now we're gonna switch to the rubber spatula. Okay. And do you know what folding looks like? Or Folding. Folding. It's kind of like a technique oh, where- Oh, where you're folding Exactly. It. Yes. You're like, what is this? I mean? love like to fold. No, yeah. <laughs> no, that's really good, yeah. Folding is a technique where it kind of is incorporating air as well as, you know, obviously mixing everything nicely. We don't have any gluten in here, so I'm not too worried about over mixing, but it's just a good, sort of practice to have with baking, over mixing is something you really want to avoid. Okay. It, you can't really do it with this you cake. You can't. But can I see how you fold? Of course, yeah. 
I need, I need the pros <laughs> holding. Okay, so we've got our olive oil and vanilla here. Okay. So this is a pretty thick coconut. So we're doing coconut cream. Co like coconut cream. Okay, you cool. could probably use milk if you wanted, but I just love this. Like it lands like a velvety. It's, like uh, I'm such a coconut addict in general. Yeah. So I, yeah. I love coconut. I mean, cream. aside from the little bit of sugar in this cake, it's you know I don't know if anyone's keto out there, but like it. It, it could it, just about. It could be. You know. And maybe you could make the coconut sugar monk fruit sugar. There I'm you not go. a huge fan of it. I'd rather just have coconut, but if you're really if you're to really watch. yeah. Okay, so this is where I see the real This folding. is the folding technique, okay. okay? So we're kind of and that's why I rub a spatula is like one of my favorite utensils okay. in the kitchen. And so we're, you know, going round and then we're sort of flipping it back up like this. Okay. And it, you know, this is kind of a thick mixture. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So how long would you tell someone to do this for? Like, just as, as little time as possible, like you, you'd wanna keep it like under a minute. You under know? a minute, okay. So I, I do Celsius as a, okay. as a kiwi, but okay. so that's 350 Fahrenheit. 350, so okay. 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. Copy. Yeah. Could I eat it like that? <laughs> I mean, literally, like because you could no literally, eggs. Yeah, like, you could literally it have it raw like that. It would be safe to do yeah. that. And what I'm gonna do is also just add like a nice pinch of salt because yeah, I, something about salt and chocolate, chocolate, it just like brings it all out. Oh, it really does. But we're looking good. Like you know, there's yeah. Gonna, if there's a little cocoa lump in there, it's we're really, really not gonna be mad at it when you and eat it. And it kind of, it's funny because there, I felt like in the one I had, it was probably the chocolate chips, but you mm. kind of like that texture of oh those. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. And, and but like I like that that texture to it adds kind of like you're eating a brownie it, almost. Yeah, in a sense. totally. And um, again, these you know it pays to get good chocolate. Get, yeah. So we buy um, Calibo chocolate, seventy two percent, and it's just like it, they're these little uh, we call them Calais. They're gonna hold their shape in the cake. Okay. But they're gonna be like it's like melted at the same time. It's um, it, but yeah. it's not gonna like dissolve through it exactly it's, and it's why i just i love it it's, it's so good i've been baking a bunch with those um i've been baking a bunch what a lie <laughs> i've just Did you been just eating <laughs> i've just been eating um i don't know if i'll have to send you them they're called gems from hum kitchen hugh have you oh. heard of hugh kitchen it's basically a, a baking gem but it's made out of coconut sugar kind of mm. like kind of like this mm. there there's so many like so many good alternatives. So many good things these days, you, huh? You can't, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. You've got a sweet tooth, I can tell. <laughs> it's just, just a little. I don't one. trust people that don't have sweet teeth. Right? Sweet teeth. <laughs> They're like, oh, I just like savory. I'm like, uh-uh. No. I like savory <laughs> and I like sweet. Now, one thing that makes, you know, lining your pan a bit easier is simply having a parchment circle that is too big for your pan. Too big. So, okay. you know, you could Oversize. take time and kind of like cut out the perfect base and then the perfect sides. Okay. But it's become a sort of a sig signature um, look for my cakes. Yeah. To have these kind of ripples around I love it. the edges because I'm not going to fuss about cutting that out perfectly. So you sort totally. of end up with... And it gives it a very cool shape yeah, I mean, it's at just, the end. It's rustic. I mean, we have this yeah. saying that cakes should taste like even better than they look, so they should look great. But then, the taste really is um, the, the most important thing. And, you know? and 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 that's so true. I find I'm not a big like just like basic cake person. Like I like my chocolate mm. and things, but sometimes when a cake is too pretty, it tastes. It tastes fake almost. It does tend to be that way. You huh? know, like the yeah. thing I, I love about her cakes is they are so good and <laughs> so beautiful and it's like an art in its own way. And I love how it's not too perfect. Teamwork. Teamwork. And so the um, bake shop you have in New Zealand, is that open right now? It is because New Zealand is COVID free. Then we're just gonna like So you'll kind of just smooth it out. Smooth it out. I mean, how easy was that? I honestly, like, couldn't have been more easier. I know. Now it's time it. for the oven. Let's go. So let's go. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh my gosh. That smells <laughs> insane. I may just have to take this and go in the other room. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is we need to flip it out. Um, okay. What I don't have is a cooling rack, but I'm gonna use my my uh, imagination, my hands or something, you know, we'll figure it out. Wow. And out. so that paper is just like such a game changer, I feel like. 
It does, it does help. Yeah. 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 It, you, cause you, you know, you just, it's so sad when your cake sticks. I mean, yeah. what could be worse? And knowing like, me. <laughs> well, there, and about, look what we're gonna do now. We're gonna okay. really. Oh, oh. <laughs> we did it. And um, then I thought we could like put some berries on it. Yeah. I'm obsessed. We will share this recipe, right? On, below on the, yes. on the video. It's in the description. It's in the swipe, it's in the description, it's in the, it's in the box below. <laughs> it is somewhere, okay? <laughs> it's somewhere. So that was in the oven for about 45 minutes. Under baked, or it's like slightly molten, is there's nothing wrong with that. Totally, you know? that's like what I, what I like. The thing I liked about it is it kind of reminded me of back in the day when I could eat like a chocolate lava cake mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. It really, yeah. it basically hits every craving, satisfied everything. Okay, so here is our cheersing of the cake. Basically, Cheers. I made. You did? Yeah. Vernon, mm. mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it. Do you like it? Like is an understatement. Mm. It is actually really good. It's like, you guys, I don't know if I can even describe, like, you know what this cake reminds me of? What? Have you? Did you ever watch um, Matilda? Mm. And the big Mrs. boy with the <laughs> made him, him eat the whole cake. Yeah. I would not be mad if someone made me just sit there and eat this. No, cake. right. But it really reminds. It's literally. This is better than a normal cake. So I have a few, a few Q and A's for you. Mm -hmm. Number one, worst baking disaster problem. I can remember a day. The mother of the bride mm -hmm. um, turned up a day early to pick up her daughter's wedding cake. It had been on, yeah, it had been arranged like, on email to be picked up the day of the wedding. She decided to come a day early. So wow. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna have to pull it together. So six hours later, she comes back, and you know the cake's in its box, but it certainly isn't like like chilled, you know. Catch. And she had a long drive, and I mean, we were just like, that the cake's not gonna make it. And sure enough, like, we heard, you know, the next day that, like, the layers had kind of slid apart. I think it was fine. That I saw a photo, and someone, the, like, chef had, like, fixed it up, but I was just, it and was that's, just stressful. That, that was, is totally out of your control, and that's, like, that is. came out of, like, a right. I just remember know. those six hours of having to, like, make, try and hurry this thing up, they were so hard, you know? And then for it not to be like the perfect wedding cake, because that's obviously what we strive for. Of course. I'm sure it still tasted great, but. I'm sure it was amazing. <laughs> I, I would have still had it. <laughs> Let's say there's someone out there who likes, like they just want to be a baker. What is their number one tip? Like one thing you could just say to like a fellow baker or cooker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, cooker. <laughs> a cooker. <laughs> Those cookers. A lot of recipes out there call, f the first step is always to like cream your butter and your sugar, right? Okay. So this is a process which, um, it's your, your initial way to like incorporate air into your cake and make it light and fluffy. Not like this cake, because Not, this, this is a one a, ball wonder, you know. Different species. A different species of cake. So with, with that step, you really do want to like, walk away and do something else while it's going in your mixer. You wanna like really put a lot of love and time into that. M a minimum of three minutes is good, but like okay. you cannot rush that step. Okay. And the butter has to be at room temperature as well. And so where can I find these? Um, so they're, uh, it's kind of all online still because of COVID, but um, mm -hmm. Anthropology, Urban Outfitters. Oh wow, oh you can Louis go. Dale, oh. Zima Marcus. Lo like lots yes, of the bigger girl. department stores, or, I love it. or directly through the caker. I, I feel like direct is, is always you know. the way I go. Female owned. Yeah. You're Sister amazing. Owned. Sister, female, yeah. I, I love it. Um, you're in, so inspiring. I've been following along her stuff for ages, oh. and it's really gotten me Same to not, you. not, I haven't baked anything until today, so I'm I'm super excited. Oh, thank you. Got something under my uh, under my belt. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. Right? Yeah. <laughs> If I wanted to like spike this cake, what would be my best liqueur or alcohol? Ooh, um, do you like chocolate and orange together? I love it. Yeah, so maybe like a Cointreau, you could like do a dash of that. Love um, it. I love a little booze in my, in like mm, my dessert. I'm a fan. Chocolate. Mm. I would do Cointreau, like I love, I love orange and chocolate together. Orange and chocolate you is know? such a combo. It's I a, love it. It's a vibe. Okay, that's the next cake, the spiked cake. Mm, Stay tuned. Cake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. 
Um, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Um, I swear to God, it's so easy. Um, subscribe to my channel and have a good day.